Hi guys, this is my biggest ever C++ application yet. It's a tic-tac-toe game. I made it in um, code blocks only, console application. So when you open it up, welcome to tic-tac-toe. S to start, I for instructions, C for the color, and Q to quit. So if you press Q, press Q, Y quit before you start and the program closes. So start that over and you can press I and then it comes up with some lines of instructions. S to start, C for colors and Q to quit. If you press C, this is a new thing. It choose a color for your game so say I choose Y for yellow it says if I want to try a new color press Y to choose a new color and end to start the game so if I press Y I can choose a new color that looks good and to start the game it starts out with asking for the players names player one's name um, Jim player two name John Okay, enter, and it comes up with the player's name, and enter the number of the square you'd like to place your X. So he presses 5, it puts an X in square 5. Then it comes up with John, where would you like to place your O? 3, it puts an O in square 3. So then the game just go keeps going on, and we get this far and then Jim X is puts a X in square one comes up X wins and it starts over with the next per with the losers going first so John if he goes and he wins this game comes up with O wins and the game just keeps repeating like that so that's pretty simple, but it's an effective game. So we have a lot of variables, instructions, main menu, here are the colors. So it starts asking for the names and it draws the board with all these variables C1 through C9. And here are where those variables are declared. Each one is a char variable or one character and they take up and each one is the let is just the number so what for the game board then do colors and it asks for the number of the square you would like to place your x so if it's one if m1 which is the input is equal to 1 then c1 which is the first square is equal to x if else, if m1 equals 2, then square c2 is equal to x. So it does that, so it'll place an x in whichever um, um, square you want to put it in. So then that goes 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. And then it checks for it, if x wins. So if c1 equals x, and c2 equals x, and c3 equals x, or C1 equals X, C4, and C7 equal X. So that would be if you win with a um, three in a row going through square one, clears the screen, new line, enters X wins using C out. Then it resets the game board after it pauses, resets, and then it checks if it's winning through C9, 6, and 3, or C9, 8, and 7. And then it resets, checks if X wins, and then it goes again and see if you win with a 3 in a row going through the middle one, clears the screen. If not, if X doesn't win, it skips all this code and goes right down to here. Clear screen, redraw the game board, enter where you would like to place your O. So then, game board, same thing as where it does X. O wins, O wins, checking to see if O wins, and then this just keeps repeating. If you press Q, it goes down to Y quit before you start. And right there, that's 
654 lines of code. This is my version 2 one. So that's pretty much it for my tic-tac-toe game. If you have any questions, you can post them in the comments below. I guess that's about it. Bye.